All lions, well, mama used to tell me, will have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. <laughs> oh, my God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Beautiful, wonderful family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, this video is for all free thinking, or I should say good thinking people who are on the side of humanity. Um, Y'all know that Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis pushed for just flat out disrespect has got to be dealt with. The hypocrisy is so insane, okay? First of all, first of all, Ron DeSatan, uh, Lu Luigi Colosi was an Italian immigrant who came here in 1917, unable to read and write, thanks to what some on the right might call chain migration. Now, she happens also be to be Great great grandmother of Ron DeSantis. This is the commentary of hypocrisy. The hypocrisy of these people. That it cannot be tolerated. And for us, it's insulting. Here is an immigrant who's worked his way now to be governor. And he wants to wipe us out of the history books as black people. This piece of shit wants to erase us out of the history books when his lineage is immigrant. Just two generations back. And y'all let him get away with this? Florida. Wake your behinds up. Get that man out of office. Get that piece of trash out of there. I feel sorry for his children. I feel sorry. Because what's done to you, what you think you're doing to me, is already done to you. Don't you ever forget that line from the color purple, buddy. It's already done to you. You are the epitome of a liar, a thief, and a murderer. You are those from the cloth that we fight against, the liars and the hypocrites. Here's an immigrant taking other immigrants and putting them on ice. Well, I believe he should go back. If anybody should go back, it should be him. Ron DeSantis. And matter of fact, take your racist ass wife with you. What's her name? Carrie, Carrie whatever. She can go back with you. Because anybody that uh, is will be married to somebody like that, just to stay in power, and you go along with something like that, to disrespect, and to shit on the human family member, you need to go to your family is trash, Ron DeSantis. You are trash, and your family is trash. And so that's probably about the best way I can describe it. There is no easy way. There is no good way to say you trash. You know that, right? There's no good way to say that you trash. As a matter of fact, listen to your his dumb ass trying to explain how, and I'm going to get to her in a minute. And like I told you, we have people in our community who will cut off their noses and spite our face. But I got to point them out because, see, they're interfering with the future of me, my I mean, my grandbabies, and my great-grandbabies. That's who these people are being. And, and they look like me. So all skin folk ain't kin folk. I'm not stupid enough to not know that. Okay? 
just like all white people don't think like this buttermilk biscuit here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, y'all. Listen to him, his own words, and then what his counterparts got to say about it. This construction includes how slaves develop skills, which in some instances, instances could be applied for their personal well, you, you, well, you should talk to them about it. I mean, I didn't do it. I wasn't involved in it. Uh, but I think um, I think what they're doing is I think that they're probably going to show um, some of the folks that eventually parlayed, uh, you know, being a blacksmith into into doing things later later in life. Um but the reality is all of that is rooted in whatever is factual. I mean, these were scholars it's who put that dummy. together. It was not anything that was uh, that was done politically. This is your summer. Now that's how you know he lied. Yeah. He said none of it was done politically. No, 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 no. It was all done by some people who were experts. He can't give you not one clue, but he does know that now, okay? We know that it was done by some experts. He says this right here. This is well documented among historians. This is historical fact that slaves did develop skills while they were enslaved and then used those skills as blacksmiths, uh, as in agriculture, uh, tailoring, uh, in the shipping business to then use to benefit themselves and their families once they were free. That's not controversial. And it actually speaks to the resilience and the aptitude of the enslaved African Americans who were at the time able to better themselves. And it also speaks for the, um, the reason why we should have education, real education taught in the school. Because you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't even say something so dumb. Y'all are so dumb, and it's because you don't read, because you didn't have to. You went through this whole school system not having to learn anything about black history, black culture, uh, anything before uh, 1690, uh, anything before slavery, 1619. You are so stupid, because if you knew anything, y'all didn't teach us shit. You went up and down the coast or you was fed us from some tribal leaders that had no idea what chattel slavery was. So you got your blacksmiths. You had your uh, lock bearers. You had your steel benders. We came here already with steels, with skills. I'm sorry. Y'all didn't teach us shit except how to be cruel how to murder each other, how to kill. That's what y'all taught us on the real stuff for your entertainment. Not because it was a tribal war, but for your entertainment. That's what you taught us. You, you, And we didn't parlay them skills. If we did, we use them right now. The only thing is we, we they're misplaced. The anger is misplaced. So how dare you say something so stupid? When you brought my ancestors over here who was already fully equipped, we gave religion, everything to the world. Mathematics, science, what is wrong with you? And because, you know why you stupid? Because you don't read. And you're so arrogant and pompous, you don't feel like you need to know nobody else's history but your own. And that's what makes you weak and fragile. That's why... Robin D'Angelo said, fragile white people. Or Roland Martin says, white fear. This is why. Because you are so even afraid to even look at who you are. That's why you can't fix who you are. You pieces of shit. But we're coming. I told you in the last video, you can't stop truth. Truth, let me give you a good African proverb. Press to the earth will rise. It will rise. You can't keep us down. What do you think the the uh, uh, libraries in Alexandria was about? Huh? You stole that knowledge. You didn't give us nothing. You stole everything you got and had from us. Even our labor. 
And now the sons and the daughters of the people you mistreated, and you continue to mistreat to this day, are coming. Okay? You didn't teach the slave, and he didn't take, he didn't parlay any skills that he already had to be used for to benefit himself. He benefited you with all his skills, his agriculture skills, his planting skills, his ability to work. You stole everything. And you have the hot damn audacity to say something so insane. Let me finish this before I go off. I'm already off the deep end. And able to improve their situation despite brutal, brutal conditions. Now let's do that. Horrific and important conditions. I want to know if it is too early in the morning to talk about Ron DeSantis and Manny Diaz for the Florida Board of Education. Because I would like to know what the benefit was for black people in America to be enslaved. Oh, they were murdered. They were massacred. They were raped repeatedly by white men. They were lynched. They had picnics of lynching where they strung up one woman, cut open her belly with her pregnant child. They were fed to alligators, the babies of black people. I want to know how that benefits black people. And as for Manny Diaz, who is a Hispanic and would never be here if it wasn't for the black civil rights movement because white people did not want Hispanics in America. I think they have forgotten. And this is what happens when you don't tell the truth about history. You know what is so sad about all of this? This fucker DeSantis comes from Italy, where the Italians have no problem talking about Roman history. All the shit they did, the good and the bad. And do you know what? The Italian children don't feel like they're being oppressed. It's only white American children that will feel oppressed if we tell the truth about this country. This is some sick shit. <laughs> If the white man had left the friggin' Africans alone with all of the natural resources that they have in Africa, instead of stealing all of their diamonds out of South Africa, their gold and everything else, Africa would have been just fine. It's a, this white man thing, oh, they never would have been able to do anything with their natural resources. I refer you to Mansa Musa. But if I were the black Americans in Florida, there's no fucking way that my child will be learning social, social studies. Sorry. So DeSantis cannot help himself stepping in his own shit. I really and truly do not know if this man has one brain cell that he's using. There is a big difference for someone benefiting from something they want to do as opposed to being forced to do it. No part of slavery was good. It was evil just like the Holocaust and all the genocides that happen across the world. And Ron DeSantis is an evil mother fucker. If you're easily triggered, please keep scrolling. Governor Ron DeSantis, we need to talk.
Listen up, Gov. I'm a convicted felon. I don't get into politics. I stay above that mass. Just, it's not for me. I have a lot of followers on this community who would love me to tee off on you. But that's just not how I am as a man. So I'm going to talk to you man to man on. I'm a former card carrying racist. I speak the language. I know the handshake. I was at the inner circle at one point in my life. I'm not proud of that at all. I'm not going to hide from it. I'm not going to run from it. I'll be open and transparent about it. But I'll be damned if I've evolved and grown this much as a human being trying to be better and love my fellow humans, especially my fellow Americans, to have someone like you come along and try to undo it. I know you have presidential aspirations. Everybody knows. But you're literally trying to whitewash and your family immigrated here. You're trying to whitewash history in Florida. I don't understand it. I absolutely disagree with you on this. This is wrong, dude. You're a father. And I'm white and I'm telling you this. People aren't stupid, Ronnie. You're literally... Video visits are perfect for non emergency I mean, you're literally what? You're literally what? Trying to rewrite the history books at a state level, who's going to trust you to run this country? On this single issue alone, I can't stand with you. I don't know how else to make a change my mind about you. You don't want to talk about the 1920 massacre down there where 35, between 35 and 50 black Americans were killed, only two whites. A whole community was looted, stolen from, destroyed. Innocent people were murdered because one man dared to exercise his right to vote. Why would you run from that? Why would you not teach that in schools and show how dangerous racism can be, how deadly, and that an instant it can spark and people die? They're just erased. They're gone. Why are you so scared of the lesson that we can learn and move forward from? Where are you hiding? Most of white America doesn't know on June 1st, 1921, the Black Wall Street Massacre in Tulsa, Oklahoma, took the lives of 300 Americans, black Americans, innocent. 40 blocks were destroyed, 10,000 people were displaced, thousands injured. They looted their homes. They took everything from them. They wouldn't let them get their money out of their banks because they had no proof of identity. They burned in a fire. Why would you not want to talk about that? We enslaved people for 250 years. Black Americans, they were property. They were owned. Do you know what they did with their babies on some plantations? They fed them to alligators. If they were the wrong gender or they didn't live up to the eye test, it was fun to them. Men, women, and children were fed to alligators, fed to dogs. I read cases where they were fed to bears for sport. They aborted babies without anesthesia. They castrated men for punishment and fun. They robbed them of every bit of identity and heritage they have. And then when they turned these enslaved black Americans free, it took them a hundred more years for federal law to even recognize them as somewhat equal. How in the hell do you think that's okay? I know you'll never sit down and have a conversation with me. I'm a nobody, and I also know you probably die death by a thousand cuts because you're a politician, and I'm a big history geek. I hope you get some get right there, Ron, because you might have just killed your career. Have a great day. Hey, Ron. Listen, um, I realize that you're going to continuously double down on the narrative that you're trying to peddle down there uh, in order to prove to your electorate that there's no racism, that there's no white supremacy, that there's no p inherent power structures that have been built into the United States foundational structure in order to elevate some and take advantage of others. I realize you've actually shifted the entire educational curriculum so it doesn't talk about minority struggles at all. The LGBT community, out. African American studies, out. You don't want anybody within your state learning the cold hard facts and truth and disgusting truth of your state the united states of america okay listen kids can still find stuff right at the end of the day your kids in that state they're going to go outside of florida to get educated you know where they're going to come to ron me 
they're going to log on to my TikTok and go, I'm going to look that up. So you can try to control kind of the narrative all you want, but you've now taken it one step further and you've assigned your educational department, this educational department of academics, you apparently trust at this point, you, you have the only collection of academics that are politically uh, non-aligned, that are unbiased, that are purely objective. Meanwhile, you've taken the last two years and condemned every academic institution for being woke and too intelligent. Let's be honest. You just don't like how smart they are. Do you wrong? And now you've allowed this group of people to do what? To create a curriculum you are going to enforce upon your citizenry that says to young kids, listen, Slavery wasn't all that bad, kids. Are you insane? Are the people of Florida insane? There's only so much I can abide, Ron, and I can't abide anything you've ever done. This is insane. This is disgusting. But Floridians, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you vote for. How dare you stand for it? How dare you? allow anybody to perpetrate and to spread such incredible, disgusting bigotry, hatred, and misinformation. How dare you? What I need you to be able to do is shut this down now. Slavery has no benefit. It gives no leverage. It doesn't help anybody at all. It tears families apart. It is violent. It is oppressive. And it is disgusting. And if you don't stand against it, you stand with him. Cut it out, Florida. Pull it together and get him out. It's good to hear from all of humanity. It's good to hear from humanity as a whole. Because that's what keeps your thoughts balanced. Okay? This is what keeps your thoughts balanced. So Ron is Satan. The worst, one of the worst things you could have ever done is this right here. Y'all check. Okay, out of everybody, I say the best for last. This is, what's her name? Um, Kimberly. This is the person that's in the uh, uh, legislation in Florida uh, who Ron DeSantis put on his education board. And I wonder why. Kimberly, what's her name? Kimberly, Kimberly, Kimberly. Y'all, I might not know her name. Oh, she's on the education task force. But you sure ain't never going to freaking forget her as soon as I play her words for you. And for black people, this is how you know you always got a government mold somewhere destroying you on the backside going counter against you on the backside. This going to let you further know when you see people like Tariq Nasheed and, oh, I don't want to get into that. I'm opening up another can of worms. I don't want to do it. But let me tell you something. There are agents in our midst. I done told you. Y'all need to believe it. But here's what you really need to believe. I thank God for slavery. Mm. I thank God for the crack house. If it wasn't for the crack house, come on somebody, God wouldn't have never been able to use me how he can use me now. And if it wasn't for slavery, I might be somewhere in Africa worshiping a tree. I thank God. Did y'all hear that dumb shit? Me on the hear. You didn't hear God right, for slavery. Mm. I thank God for the crack house. If it wasn't for the crack house, come on somebody, God wouldn't have never been able to use me how he can use me now. And if it wasn't for slavery, I might be somewhere in Africa worshiping a tree. I thank God. Okay, first of all, you see how they can slip everything uh, and slip it behind some hallelujahs and put it behind the pulpit and half of the black people in there just go along with it. Half of them don't, the same half that never use their freaking brain to think that, hmm, I call myself a Christian, but Jesus was never a Christian. So what the hell am I worshiping? Okay? Because this, I don't want to call her a name. 
especially nothing, but it rhymes with witch. Got up in that pulpit and said she thanked God for slavery. Are you speaking for your great, 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 great grandmama? Which are you speaking for people who work from sun up to sun? Casey Knight? Who you? Uh, uh, you thank God for it, huh? Well, I don't. But I thank God that you've been exposed. And you and this Santa, you and you, now you're getting a buck. Follow the money, y'all. Follow the money, people. And I know this video is long, but the cesspool of shit is so deep that sometimes you just got to go in the murk with This broad is actually sitting up here. And they, mm -hmm, hallelujah. Mm -hmm, I thank God he, he delivered me and he put me in and he saved me. Oh yeah. He delivered me from the crack house. Bitch, you need to go back. Do you understand what I'm saying? They hide it behind this church shit. And y'all get all up in arms instead of listening to the content. In the context of what this damn woman is saying to this 100% black audience. I'm done with this ape. I'm done with Ron DeSantis, the orangutan. All of them can get flushed right down the toilet and it won't be long. Because any trap that you set for me is already done to you. And you just better remember that. And I'm done. I'm sorry if you like what you hear. I know I went too long. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the channel. Share it, please, and continue to support. I appreciate every little thing you do. Continue to watch the ads. It helps. Every little bit helps. And thank you. I'll see you in the next video. When I find myself in time of trouble, my man.